Good afternoon and welcome to the Disney Wonder. And what we're going to do today is we're going to go touring around and try to find every nook and cranny of the Disney Wonder. So right now we are on the third floor. Just coming in right behind us would be the doors that you enter in and they say, Disney Wonder, please welcome aboard the Tracker family. And everybody claps for you. And yeah, let's start the video and have a look around. The first thing that you see when you walk in is the atrium, which consists of level three, level four, and level five. And this is gonna be a little bit confusing, but we're not gonna start you on level three. We're gonna go down to level one and start working our way up. So we will start out the tour, deck one, midship. Here's the elevators. <laughs> Not a lot on the first floor. So next to the elevators is, this would be a gangway that you could use if you're first coming onto the ship at ground level. So a lot of the crew members come in through this door. But if you're leaving the ship for a, an excursion that is a tendered island, like a tendered port, then you would have to go to one of these other gangways down one of these hallways. This is all just rooms through here too. Whoa, look at that. Never seen this before. There's a like a ridiculous looking door. So here all the way at the end of the hallway is this large door. And this would open up if you are at a tendering location or a tendering port. And that's how you could get to one of your tenders. There are three of them, or at least two, maybe just two on this floor. We're gonna do a little bit more searching and find out, but that's definitely one of them. Yeah, we were just, just exploring. And I think that this is all crew cabins down here. Yeah, crew members only. So this is where the crew cabins are all the way down towards midship on level one. So just looking at the map here, where we got off, these are the elevators are midship right here. And there is a gangway here that we were showing you guys, but there's also one at the aft, but you can't get to it on the first floor. So we're gonna go up a level and go back down. And they show this, here's the deck two. So you go up and back over and down to deck one. Now we are on midship deck two, do a little bit of exploring through here, mostly just rooms all throughout deck two so just to give you guys an idea of where we are at we are on the port side headed towards the aft on level two so it's mostly just rooms through here kind of right across from 2096 on level two there's a laundrette i had no idea that there was a laundry room on the ship i didn't either this is pretty interesting i need to wash some socks oh yeah it's actually a really good we could do it it yeah. only cost us six dollars oh man yeah. I think I would just dry them with my hair dryer. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then you still need the soap and stuff. I don't know how much though, it's a dollar each. Now we are at the aft elevators. And one thing that they pointed out to us is that each carpet runner outside of the elevators has a different uh, little symbol here in the middle. So this one here at the aft elevators is Ursula's little Nautilus. And that's how you know that you're in the aft elevator area or the aft of the ship. Now we're gonna go down to level one to the gangway, but we are at port right now. So I don't know if I can show any of it because there's security and all that stuff down there. We're gonna have a look. So there it is, there's the gangway. Just beyond this is security, so I can't show any of this. So just to kind of keep this like a, a normal, like easy to follow video, we are at the aft elevator shaft. We're gonna go up to level three, but we're gonna go back to the midship elevator shaft so that we stay midship. Now we have arrived deck three midship and there's gonna be a lot of stuff starting on these next three levels. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna turn from the elevators and we are gonna head into after hours, which has the crown and fin, the Cadillac lounge and the azure. And this is the adults only area after 9 p.m. So before 9 p.m. and it's all ages, people can come in and out of here. They do trivia and stuff like that back here. But after 9 p.m., 18 and up only. And so here's Azure. We're gonna pass by that and circle back to that a little bit later. But we're gonna start back here at the Cadillac Lounge. Look at that. Are they doing mixology or something in here? No. Let's have a look. Let's have a look inside the Cadillac Lounge. Ooh, I like the styling of this. Everything's leather and wood. Yeah, like an old Cadillac. Oh, and they have some chrome accents from old Cadillacs too. That's bro, oh, look at the Cadillac hubcap for the cocktail table. And the whole area behind the bar looks like a giant hood of a Cadillac. It's pretty neat. And I love these seats. Oh, and there's a piano here because this is a piano bar. Oh, and the tail fins right here. Oh, like 
like separating the little sections. Yeah. That's cute. That's really cool. I like these, this. These chairs just look so comfortable. Like yeah. Those. Oh yeah. I like how the ca the hubcaps are different. Year Cadillacs too. That's pretty fun. And from Cadillac Lounge, well, before we leave Cadillac Lounge, I do want to point out this is where the portholes are that are the larger portholes that you can sit in. So now we are headed in this direction towards Crown and Finn Pub and Azure. Before we head there, I just did want to point out this is where the bathrooms are just outside of the elevators. These are the forward elevators on level three. So once we get to this area, there is a gift shop here called Sea Treasures. To the left is the Crown and Finn Pub and to the right is Azure. So we're gonna go check out the Crown and Finn Pub, a proper English pub. This, this fish has a crown on its butt. <laughs> And one thing that we found, because we were looking around in here earlier, there's all kinds of little Easter eggs. So like up here, there's Archimedes house with Pongo's collar up there. And also Mary Poppins umbrella. Oh yeah, Mary Poppins umbrella sitting up there. And then we've got Mr. Bean over here driving his car. Just a painting of Stonehenge, of course. <laughs> uh, you got Toad arrested right there. We got Kermit the Frog down here. Lots and lots of little Easter eggs all over the place. But this is kind of an overview of their proper English pub. Also, I like that they do this too, where it's like a sketch of Sword in the Stone, like you see Archimedes. It's pretty interesting. And then you've got Toad, Badger, all of the guys from The Wind in the Willows at a pub. Oh, and it's closed right now, so we can't see what kind of spirits they have, but they do have Guinness, Sierra Nevada, uh, their own Crown and Finn brand beer, and Lagunitas. Some various other little things here and there, like this picture here is from 101 Dalmatians with the darts in it. And then there's another picture of Toad right there from The Wind in the Willows. Another little artistic rendering of 101 Dalmatians. I like the Got the queen up there on those nesting dolls. One of the things that they do at this place is they have board games and they have open card playing. I didn't know they had a Moana version of Sorry. Oh, you know what? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Got another artistic rendering of the darlings from Peter Pan. He's throwing Nana outside and they're telling him no. They also have these game tables so you can play backgammon or chess while you're hanging out here having a pint. Directly across from the Crown and Finn, looking past Sea Treasures, is Azure. But we're not going to go in through this door because there is a second door and they're doing some trivia in there right now. So I'll point out where this door is inside once we get into the actual location. So we are down the hall from Cadillac Lounge right there. Uh, Crown and Finn were off to the right and the elevators were off to the right. And now we're going in through the side entrance of Azure. And if you see the crew member here, just on the other side of him is where the other door was. And they're doing Name That Tune trivia. What song is it? Oh, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Moana. I don't think you're supposed to blurt it out, though. <laughs> oh, what Broadway composer wrote this song? Lin-Manuel Miranda. <laughs> so we are now back at the midship elevators from the after hours area. And we're going to head back to where we started the video at the doors that you would first enter into in the atrium, which are right over here. And directly to your right when you first get on the boat, my left, is Port Adventures. This is where you would come to book any excursions that you wanted to do wherever you were sailing to. So right now we're in Ensenada, the only port on our cruise and there's nobody here because we're at port. People are already on their port adventures. From port adventures, we are looking back towards the atrium. And then to our left is Triton's, one of the sit down restaurants here on board. And also looking into Triton's, got a couple of hidden Mickeys down here. There they are in the ironwork or the stained glass window work. So I just want to give you guys a view of the menu at Triton's. So this is a sit down restaurant. This is where you could get lunch or it might be, depending on how long your cruise is, one of your rotational dining options. But right now it is just open for lunch. Here is a quick overview of Triton's, the Little Mermaid themed table service restaurant. Just wanted to come in and get you guys a little bit closer look at the mural in here with Ariel and King Triton. Or Sebastian. I see, oh, there he is. That's what I was gonna say, I see Flounder up here. From Triton's, we are turning to our right and we see 
Ariel. So this is the bronze statue that is in the middle of the atrium and Ariel is exclusive to the Disney Wonder. And you will find a lot of different theming around Ariel. Like take for instance, this floor here looks like we're deeper down with the bubbles kind of underwater with Ariel. Which is why her hair is sort of floating above her because she's under the sea. Oh yeah. Also, I wanted to show you guys looking back at Ariel here, the full view of the atrium, beautiful, beautiful chandelier up there. And we are turning past the four pack of midship elevators that we've been focusing our tour around. And we're looking here is where guest services is. So if you have any questions or need help with anything this is where you could come. And then we are turning all the way around back towards Triton's, but we are going down this hallway over here. So we have made it over to the back entrance of Triton's. And if you kind of look through, you can see that's the entrance that we came in before way down there. And this is just a second entrance down the hallway from the atrium down there. And then there's another set of stairs here that only go up one level. And we will get to that when we get up to the next level. And we're headed down further towards the aft of the ship on the port side towards Promenade Lounge. They do all kinds of fun stuff here. Nothing's happening right now other than it being a bar. But you could also have, there's a piano in here. They teach animation classes in here. They play games in here. But for the most part, it is a bar. I'm actually really surprised that this place is not more popular. I don't know why. Like late at night, this bar still isn't super crowded. I think that the areas in after hours are much more crowded. I think so. And then as we turn a little bit further, here is Connect at Sea if you're having any issues with your internet or if you want to purchase an internet package, this is where you would come. Really quick, this is something that helped us out last time. I forgot to download the navigator on my phone before we left the port. And so we didn't have the internet and to download the navigator would take up your entire package. So we came here and we downloaded it um, with the cast member that was here. And then they credited that back to my internet plan. So if you forgot to download the app, come to Connect at Sea and they'll help you out with that. And then from Connect at Sea, we are turning in this direction and heading towards Tiana's place, which we'll be eating dinner at Tiana's place tonight. So be sure to go back and watch those videos. And we'll put a link to that video in the description down below so you guys can see what it was like eating dinner inside of Tiana's place. But if you wanna know right now, just a quick little preview, here is the menu. Very New Orleans inspired. So that is everything on deck three. Now we're headed back to the midship elevators to start level four. Here we are back at the midship bank of elevators and I hope that this makes it a little bit easier to understand your way around the ship as if I start at the same elevator every time. But from the midship elevators, we are going to turn and look out into the atrium and just for a little bit more wayfinding, that is where we started the video down there. There's Tritons and now we are turning towards the front of the ship, the bow of the ship. So we are headed towards the Walt Disney Theater and on our right is Whitecaps, which is a store where you can get all kinds of different merchandise and, and it's kind of around the corner. This is closed right now because we are at port, but there's like toiletries are right around the corner. You can get deodorant or hairspray or toothbrush or anything like that that you may have forgotten. And then directly across from that is Mickey's mainsail. Same type of thing. This one I think sort of caters more towards kids has different toys and kids clothing, whereas this side has jewelry and purses and cologne and watches and more adult clothing. And then as we continue forward on the ship, we're heading towards the Walt Disney Theater. Before we get to the Walt Disney Theater, here is Preludes, which is where you could get some popcorn or a drink or an alcoholic beverage before going into the Walt Disney Theater where live shows happen. Occasionally they will do a 3D movie or a first run movie if they have something that's really popular, but for the most part, it is always live theater. For example, today we have a magician and we have the Frozen, a musical spectacular. I know what just happened looked like I touched the screen and it changed. It, I didn't, this isn't a touch screen. I don't know how that happened. Magic. Also the forward bank of elevators are here just outside of the Walt Disney Theater. And now we have made it all the way as far forward on the ship as we can inside. What I want to do is go outside and head back towards the back of the ship. But level four is unique because this is the only level that you can mm -hmm. run the entire way around the ship. So this deck circles the entire ship. So you will see people running on deck four kind of a lot, 
I don't know how long it is, but it is one continuous deck all the way around the ship. This deck on deck four, usually nobody's out here relaxing. It is kind of cold for me right now because it's in the shade, but if you can get a nice sunny spot, oh, it's nice. Here we are back at the midship elevators and we're heading towards the atrium again. And real quick before we get to the atrium, there is a DVC Disney Vacation Club booth here. And then we are turning and going past the atrium. This is where we started the video, keeping you guys updated. There is an entrance to D Lounge over here, but there's also a side entrance to D Lounge and they are doing kind of like a uh, family feud type thing in there right now, I believe. Some sort of little game show. We also have art on the walls here that you can buy. So this is D Lounge. Oh yeah. Oh, it's like, who wants to be a millionaire? Charlie, that's your final answer? Alright. Computer, is it C? We're gonna put a video down in the description down below from our last cruise, where we went to D Lounge on the last night, we got a special invitation, and we went to like a gathering with every single character that was on the cruise ship with us. It was amazing. Yeah. So yeah. I thought that was a character. Oh. <laughs> and so as we turn to our right from D Lounge, we are headed into the Shutters area, where you have Shutters Portrait Studio, where you can book studio time and have somebody take your portrait for you. Or, if you continue on, you head into Shutters, where you can buy your photos that the different photographers have taken throughout your cruise. Or, if you don't want to buy any photos, they also have various other camera accessories that you may have forgotten. You can buy a camera here, you can buy adapters if you need a power converter you can buy a battery charger for your phone and then you can buy various other digital cameras and memory cards you can also have your family's photo put on a coffee mug this is something interesting at the other side of shutters they also sell binoculars and then a lot of other digital cameras they also sell those instamax cameras and instamax film those are like fancy looking Instamax cameras. Oh. And then from shutters, as we turn to our right, we head towards Animator's Palette. And that is where we had dinner last night. And like we said, we will put a bunch of videos in the description down below so you guys can see, because we can't get into Animator's Palette right now because it is closed. So, but we did eat in there the other night and we also ate in there on the Magic. And we'll put all these videos in the description down below. Back at the midship elevators on deck five now, and if we turn past the atrium towards the back side of us, this is the Oceaneers Lab. And this is for kids, but we, because it's an open house right now, we can go inside and see. And there she is, Mary Oceaneer. You guys might remember her from Typhoon Lagoon. This is the Oceaneers Lab. There are a bunch of different sections around. We're playing Foursquare. Yeah, Foursquare. Oh I remember Foursquare. There's an animator studio in here. So Society of Explorers and Adventurers has a role in the theme parks. It all started with Pleasure Island. Yeah. And so now, Mary Oceaneer, these are all of the different adventurers. And some of them might look familiar. Whoa. That is awesome. It was Elsa at one point. I love it. And they have all kinds of different little artifacts in here too. They'd be like, look. There's the last scene from Pirates. Uh, we do More scenes things. from Pirates. Pretty interesting. Yeah, there he is. Lord Henry Mystic from Mystic Manor. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, hey, he's part of uh, C. And then here's Harrison, or Harrison, I don't know if his name is Harrison. Here's Hightower. And he's from... Tokyo what? Disney. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, so... so wait, uh, uh, Mystic... This is Hong Kong. Oh, right. Oh, this is the ride that we rode through at the... Studios, yeah. Uh, what is it called? Imagineering. Imagineering, yeah. So you want to hear something interesting? Yeah. So these are all of the people that are part of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. Only three of them have an official backstory that we know of. So do you think they're going to expand? They can. Maybe. For like new rides? Maybe. There's a craft studio over here where they can do some drawing and various other crafts. They have a whole video game section over here called the Wheelhouse where they can watch movies or play video games. I wonder what these flags right here say. The interesting thing about Mary Oceaneer is she has a ride called Misadventure Falls at Typhoon Lagoon, but her story started on the cruise ship. This hallway right here would lead over to the other section, the Oceaneer's Club. And now coming out of the Oceaneer's Lab, looking back at the midship elevator, we're headed in this direction 
towards the starboard side. Are you ready to eat some lunch? And let's head to the right. I don't really know what is over to the right. Let's find out. One thing we did find is all kinds of photos of the ship being built, which is pretty neat. Look at the size of that propeller. It's huge. So it seems the only thing that was down that hallway was just a way to get from the midship elevators to the forward elevators. And then just a couple of rooms down here. And then I think there are also just a couple of other rooms on the other side of the elevators over here. Yeah, just a couple more staterooms down there as well. I don't know what's behind those doors. I'm assuming it's crew area only. So now we went down that hallway, found that there were just rooms down there. Now we're back at the midship elevators on deck five and we are turning in this direction so we went down that hallway before now we are headed back towards the atrium and heading in this direction one thing that i like about the atrium area is if you look down there on level four there is some seating areas down there also you will find characters meeting down there i think goofy is about to start meeting down there and sometimes you'll have characters meeting up here at the end of this little area too but right now we're headed towards the aft of the ship on the starboard side. And now we come upon the Oceaneer Club. This is, I showed this last time, but this is a hands-free hand washing station. So just stick your hands in there and wait. Oh my gosh, this feels amazing. It's like a warm hand massage with water. Well, you know what? I think I said it dries your hands, but it does not. So you still have to get a towel, which is all at kid level, so it's way down low. And dry yourself off. I love that. I wish they had like a shower version. Whoa, yeah. that's some Jetsons action. <laughs> and then this is where the kids can come and hang out. So you got a Toy Story area with a slinky dog slide. Lots and lots of blocks to play with. And a Mr. Potato Head. And then we've got a Disney Junior section over here where it looks like they do all kinds of arts and crafts. Hot dog, hot dog. Hot diggity dog. And then the Superhero Academy. Ooh, look at that. We got Falcon's backpack, Iron Man's helmet, Black Widow's gauntlets, Spider Man's web shooters, the classic Captain America shield. Ant-Man's Helmet. This is an interactive game that the kids can play where they use their hands and stuff to train to become a superhero. And then we've got some honors that all of the different Avengers have won. This is an interactive area again for the kids. Look at that, that's really neat. It's like 3D. Huh, oh look, there's all of the Avengers lockers. Whoa, what's this? some sort of thing that you have to decode. That's pretty interesting. And then you got the bathrooms over here. Through there, I believe is, uh, it's a small world nursery. And then we've got, oh, some jumbo speed stackers. A nice spot where you could watch different movies. And they've got a frozen section. Oh, look, the Snogies. Now we're heading into Wandering Oaken's Trading Post. It's like a little frozen themed area. Oh, look at a little troll up there. This is a magic window. It looks like it's got another Xbox One controller, so maybe you'll be able to use your hands to do interactive things here too. Oh, woohoo, big summer blowout. Little clock. Oh, it's like a little grocery store where they can play store. And there's the sauna. So this looks very similar to the line for Frozen Ever After at Epcot. A lot of the same elements in here. And then some iPads over here for, I'm sure, some sort of interactive learning experience. Last time I was in one of these play areas, people were saying, you gotta hit start. This one's, I think, not working at the moment. So maybe the other one that was there, I needed to hit start on, I think it was on the Fantasy that we were in. Also in here is a gigantic clipboard that you can draw on. It's a huge roll of paper too. Here's the question. Oh no, okay, so you can't change Mr. Potato's head's face. Spider-Man showed up out of nowhere. Awesome. Welcome to Marvel Superhero Academy. We have plenty of cool courses here for our new recruits. Recruits can become web warriors, or we even have programs like the Spider-Man Origins where they can learn about how I became a superhero. Black Widow here, she teaches a really cool obstacle course mission. And Captain America himself comes in to talk to the new recruits. He's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess Spider-Man teaches right, here in the Superhero Academy. That's amazing. Your kids can learn how to be a superhero from Spider-Man. Also over here in the Toy Story area, I noticed that 
anytime that you see a TV like this with a cutout above it, that means that they have an Xbox One uh, you know motion sensor in there So this is a motion controller game that the kids can play with their hands Another thing that I wanted to show you guys is that in all of the kids areas There are magic band touch points So all the kids get magic bands so that all of the cast members or crew members know exactly where your kid is After you drop them off and once they make it past this touch point They know if they come or go another thing that I wanted to point out when we're in the Disney Junior area If you look there is a door here that's not open right now, but if it was open, it would lead to a hallway that leads over to Oceaneer's lab, which is more of the science and experiment side of the Oceaneer's department. So Oceaneer's club and Oceaneer's lab is three through 12. And then infant through three would be, it's a small world. And then there is a vibe section, which is 11 through 13. And then 13 through 17 is the edge which is the teenage club and then there's even a little group called the 1820 society which is 18 to 20 year olds that want to hang out with other 18 to 20 year olds so there is something for everybody on this ship or on a disney cruise from oceaneer club we are turning in this direction heading further down the hallway and next up is it's a small world nursery which is where you could drop off your kids age infant through three years old from it's a small world nursery as we turn a little bit further we're coming across the Buena Vista Theater, where they run first-run movies, like Dumbo is out in the theaters right now, and they are showing this. I think later we're gonna watch Captain Marvel in here. This is a fairly small theater. I think there's about 200 seats in here, but it looks like it's such a steep incline that you everybody gets a good view, so you probably won't have a head in front of you when you're watching the movie. From the Buena Vista Theater, we are headed down here towards the aft of the ship, just some more rooms down this hallway, and we are at the aft elevators. And that makes up all of deck five. So that concludes everything on deck five, and now we are headed up to deck six and headed back towards the midship elevators. Here we are at the midship elevators on deck six, and I'm just gonna show you guys the map and let you know, there really isn't very much on this floor except for rooms. We are gonna go check out this laundrette, but other than that, just rooms and also this very strange space on the back side of the elevators. I don't really know what this is for or why it's here. I think uh, it's really to house like strollers and wheelchairs. Yeah. That's what it seems like anyway. Huh. All right, let's go find that laundrette. So from the midship, we are headed to the port side and then headed to the aft of the ship. About halfway between midship and aft elevators, around 6588 is the laundry room. Same as the other one. Nothing really going on. Laundry, dryers. I don't know why there's one dryer over here by itself, but there is. The ironing board. Yeah, that's it. There you go, we did it. That is everything on deck six. Let's head up to deck seven. Here we are, midship deck seven. Looking back at the map again, nothing but rooms. This is actually our room is on this level. And there's another laundrette, so directly above the one that was below us. So do you think that like, you've seen level seven now at this point, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go up to level eight. Right. Well, here's something that's unique to level seven. None of the other floors have this table on them or this mirror. So level eight midship, it's starting to feel like six, seven, and eight are all the same. They're all state rooms. The only difference, this one does not have a laundrette on it. So. There you go. If you're interested in laundry rooms, Deck 8 is not the place to be. Deck 8 has a different table. Here we are. Deck 9 midship. Got a lot of stuff going on up here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to the front of the ship. We're going to start at the spa and work our way back to Cabana's, the buffet. So we did a little bit of like quick travel or fast travel. So we were at the midship elevators. Now we are at the forward elevators. If we are facing towards the front of the boat, towards the starboard side is Senses Spa. And we don't have any spa packages booked right now. We don't have the Rainforest Pass, so we cannot go inside and experience this spa at the moment, but guarantee you it's very nice. We've done it before. So the one thing that we can show you inside of Senses Spa is the fitness room. And we're headed that way right now. So where we came in was just around the corner right there. The elevators are just on the back side of this wall. That's the front desk. We came in, made a right, headed towards this sign, and we made another right. And kind of following the winding path all the way down. This is the rainforest room right here. 
A lot of saunas and scented showers in there. And then there's the changing rooms here, men and some women's. And then we head into the fitness center. Rock with it, do some fitness in here. All right, lots and lots of machines that I don't know how to use, but I'm sure that they're good. Got different waters in here, fruits available for your consumption. One thing that I think is really neat about this area is that there is a gigantic window in the front of it so that if you're on the treadmill, you can look like you're running across the top of the water. They also offer various classes that are free, but you just do have to sign up for them. So they have yoga, they have spinning, like you can see these are the spinning bicycles. I wanted to show you guys there is a pool down there and the whole reason that we didn't show that pool is because that is a crew member only area that's the crew pool when we first walked in just to the right of the check-in area is a beauty salon a barber shop a beauty lounge and the chill spa so we are in the salon area they've got teeth whitening they've got manicure pedicure full out barber you can get your hair cut in here pretty neat oh all of the pedicures are inside of massage chairs that's fancy. This is a teeth whitening area. This is the barber shop. And then there's a chill spa. I don't know what a chill spa is, but it sounds interesting. And we actually had to ask what the chill spa was. Yeah. It is a, it's a spa for teenagers. You do like, kids can go in there and get massages and stuff. And like facials. He said it was for 13 to 17. 17? Yeah. yeah. From Senses, we're back here at the forward elevators. And now we're headed out into the adults only area. We just came out of the forward elevator area senses is inside of there this is the adults only pool section that i wanted to show you guys is right around the corner here this is the smoking section this is the only spot on the ship where you can have a cigarette or smoke a cigar you have to be away from everybody and the other thing is you cannot have a cigarette on your balcony you will be removed from the ship it is very very frowned upon to have a cigarette on your balcony so you have to come over here just past the adults only pool towards the forward of the ship on the port side and now we are in the adults only pool section We've got an adults pool a couple of adults only hot tubs and signals over here which is the bar in the adults only section just passing by signals get you a little bit closer look at the bar it's a full liquor bar and then we are coming over to the cove cafe and this is the side entrance to the cove cafe so we're not going to go in through this door i'm going to take you around this is a concierge level area here that we can't get into. Take you around this side to show you the main entrance to the Cove Coffee Bar. Let's have a look inside of the Cove Cafe. Nice little coffee bar in here. One thing that I didn't realize is that you can get an alcoholic coffee in here. Also, you can get absinthe. Do you see that? That's an absinthe thrift right there. And if you're hungry, you can come in here and get any of these different pastries or sweets, complimentary. One of the things about the Cove Cafe is they have all kinds of different books and magazines that you can read. And then here is the menu for the Cove Cafe. Basically just different kinds of coffees that you can get. They have a lot of different ones. From the Cove Cafe, we are headed out of the 18 and older area. Oh look, this is interesting. I didn't never notice this before. This is the like commemorative plaque i guess i don't know it says what year it was built in where it was built who built it never seen that before just for wayfinding i know we've been starting all of these different areas at the midship elevators so that's where we are at right now so just inside this door is the midship elevators but we're going to start out here in this area because this is the main pool, the family pool. Also, they're meeting and greeting Daisy over here. So this is where you would come to go into the main pool. And then also, they're watching Toy Story 3 here on Funnel Vision. And so if you're ever looking for the Funnel Vision, that's what this large red thing here is called the funnel. And this is Funnel Vision, watching Toy Story 3. And this is where all of the large stage shows happen. So like last night, we saw Pirates in the Caribbean, and this is where we watch that show. So now we are headed across the way. We're actually walking across the stage right now. Headed back over in this direction. This is where the DJ sets up during the stage shows. And on this side, just on the other side of the midship lifts or elevators, which are right behind that door, is the edge, which is the 
Queen Club. Now we are inside of the Edge, which is a special club for 11 to 14 year olds. So the tween age, a little bit smaller than the other clubs that we're gonna go into today, but lots of video games, lots of hanging out, and they have various different activities that the kids can do. I think they do like robots and stuff like that. Mm. Sounds, and they got some jamming tunes going on in here. And then when they first come in, they also fill out profiles so that all of the counselors know exactly what kind of stuff they like. From the edge, turning past the main pool, the family pool, and headed in this direction. There are lots of tables over here because this is the area of the ship. Oh, I thought it was gonna have uh, Pinocchio's Pizzeria stuff on it, but it doesn't. So let's head over and see what Pinocchio's Pizzeria has. To the aft of the main pool is Pinocchio's Pizzeria. And this is a full service bar where you can get all kinds of mixed drinks and beers and also pizza. All kinds of, hello. All kinds of different pizzas. Yummy, yummy. And these are all included, just walk up Grab it, included with the cost of your cruise. So hopefully this is not as confusing as it seems to me because it's kind of confusing to figure out a way to show how to get places without backtracking too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here at Pinocchio's and I'm gonna head back in this direction. So this is where we walked from the edge over to here. And this is the very first Pinocchio's Pizzeria sign that I showed you guys. We're headed around this corner here because there's something here called Quacks which is closed right now. This is a really teeny tiny gift shop. You can buy sunscreen, bathing suits. I think this is only open on days at sea. And then if we turn from Quacks, here is ice cream. This is an ice cream parlor where you can get soft serve ice cream. This is included with the cost of your cruise. So anytime you want to, anytime this is open, come up, get some ice cream. Right next to the ice cream, keeping with the Monsters Inc. thing theme, this is Sully's Sips. Get tons of monster energy drink or different smoothies. Here's a quick look at what kind of smoothies you can get. Nice rebuilding juice tonic, a restore get up. And I think that these are all an additional charge. I don't think these are included. Let's ask them. Yeah. I can tell you the beer is not included. So we did find out that it is an additional charge. They're around $5 each. I wonder if you can add like a shot to this. I bet they, they're not gonna turn you down. Right? I want this one. Oh yeah, Jasmine Mint. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so right right around the corner from Sully Sips is Boiler Bites. This is where Jen can get her shawarma. Here at Boiler Bites, you can get all kinds of different stuff. Hamburger, cheeseburger, veggie burger, fish burger, fries, chicken tenders, bratwurst, sausage, hot dog, and shawarmas. So this is all included in the cost of the cruise. You just come up here, get whatever you want. Jen's getting a shawarma right now. Oh, I don't know, put that. Ziki. All kinds of deliciousness on there. So from Boiler Bites, just on the other side of this Boiler Bites sign is the kids pool, which we're not gonna show right now because there's a ton of kids playing in it, but just to give you guys an idea of where it's at, also in this area is the slide. That's the water slide right there. And the entrance to the water slide is just up these stairs right here. This is called the Twist and Spout. And the kids area here is called the Aqua Lab. You can see they've got a different like splash pad area and there's a kids pool kind of right here. Looking up at the Twist and Spout, we're turning to our left past the kids pool is right behind us, the splash pad area. There is Dory's Reef right there, which I actually got a nice clear shot of the other day when nobody was in it. And we are headed in this direction over here to Daisy's Delights. So Daisy's Delights is an interesting place. It's a quick service area that opens earlier than all of the other places. So Cabana's is the buffet and Daisy's Delights opens at 6.30 in the morning even though Cabana's opens at 7. And right now it's lunchtime and like in between lunchtime and dinner time. So they're doing uh, sandwiches and wraps and fresh fruit. They got hot paninis too. And also some fresh salads. Hiding down underneath the fresh fruit, they've got chocolate chip cookies. Come over here and just eat non-stop chocolate chip cookies. Included in the cost of your cruise. There is a build a bowl station where you can make your own salad or get some soup. This area in the morning has oatmeal where you can add different like raisins or different fruits to your oatmeal. The one thing I will say about Daisy's Delights is first thing in the morning, even though in the afternoon they have sandwiches and stuff that would be a full out meal, first thing in the morning, 
they only have danishes and pastries and oatmeal nothing else fresh fruit danishes pastries oatmeal nothing that's like a solid meal in the morning for that you have to wait for cabanas to open which is next on our trip right through these doors from daisy's delights we are heading through these double doors right here and they will lead us to cabanas which is the all you can eat buffet section of the ship before we go in there i did want to point out one thing we're here at the aft elevators and what i want to do is head straight through to the other side because there is another a very important thing just outside these doors right here and that is ugh, this section right here all of the sodas and coffee and hot chocolate that you can imagine or ever want is here included with your cruise so we've been really going after these soda waters the entire cruise because we love them yeah look at that so now let's head back inside and have a look around in cabanas right in here so the one thing about cabanas that i can't quite figure out is when are they actually serving food like how often when do they start serving food when do they stop serving food but this is the all you can eat area where you can come and get various things this is where i've been eating breakfast every morning because it's the easiest quickest opens the earliest so cabanas just wanted to show you guys what is available for cabanas breakfast got some scrambled eggs some hard boiled eggs cream of wheat some oatmeal got some brown sugar in there some noodles and soup and some tofu back there some roasted tomatoes fresh fruit some hash browns got some corned beef hash and beans that contain pork some bacon and sausage toast english muffins bagels toasted bagels some wheat toast of course mickey mouse waffles pancakes both plain and blueberry all kinds of different whipped cream with butter chocolate sauce mandarin segments you know, different things to put on your waffles assorted danishes some delicious Krispy Kreme donuts, pound cake, vanilla pound cake, chocolate pound cake, some croissants, copious mayonnaise, mustard, and ketchup, some cold cuts over here, some lox, like uh, different fish, mackerel, smoked, smoked salmon, some cheddar cheese, some provolone cheese, some chopped red onions, sliced tomatoes, lemon wedges, and cucumbers. And then of course, peanut butter and cream cheese and butter over here i didn't know this before but right next to the ketchup this is hot maple syrup so i know that we have been heading back to midship elevators but now that we're getting up to the last level i wanted to start at the aft elevators because we're going to head up this one last set of stairs to palo and we know that we're heading up to palo because the carpet changes here this is the palo carpet and we also get this wonderful least scary painting of a guy on driving a gondola this is 10 aft the elevator shafts here and this is Paulo so this is Paulo and give you a quick look at the menu here this is the dinner menu we actually had brunch here earlier and it was pretty darn delicious I have to say, I enjoyed brunch more than I enjoyed dinner. Me too. Yeah. Let's have a quick look around inside of Palo. It's not open right now, so hopefully we can still get a quick look around. Nice wine room in there, lots of different wines available. And they are getting all set up for dinner right now. So nobody's in here. Open kitchen. And this is the fine dining establishment. This is an extra charge. But Palo is interesting because Palo is on every single Disney ship. Well, some iteration of Palo is on every single Disney ship. From Palo, we are headed out the starboard side and we're headed towards the forward of the ship. The only thing that's back here is there's a little seating area and you can kind of stand at the back of the ship. Probably where we'll go when we're leaving port today, just to have a look as we're sailing away. And then what we have up here is just kind of a sitting area have a little bit of a different view looking down at the kids pool here the aqua lab in there is dory's reef and we are continuing our way around you can see the entrance to the slide up there on this funnel we're heading towards the front of the ship all kinds of different sun areas and places to sit around this level looking down on the main pool this is the all ages pool funnel vision again they're watching brave 
Down here is Pinocchio's Pizzeria. We are continuing our way towards the front of the ship. Chip and Dale are down there meeting and greeting. Like we said before, this is where something like the Sail a Wave party would happen that we watched earlier when we were leaving the first port. So we are looking back at that funnel right there. That funnel has the slide on the back of it. This is the all ages pool. Funnel vision is right there. This is actually a fake funnel. It doesn't do anything. It houses Vibe, which is the teen club. And we'll go inside there. It also houses the concierge lounge. And this is the midship elevators up here too. Here's concierge lounge, which you have to be staying in a concierge room to be able to get into. Another, the midship elevators. And then this is the entrance to Vibe just up those stairs right there. So after you come up the stairs, you are in the vibe area. And this is, they've got some video games in here, some sweet art in here, different movie posters. And there is an elevator that comes specifically up to here. And then just past the elevators is another little side room. Got some hangout areas in here. They can play checkers or chess, rock out on some guitar hero, or just hang out in some of the seats here. I don't know what's behind those doors. Secret doors. Decorated with surfboards. From that little side room, I was asking about the elevators. So you need a key card to be able to use the elevator to get up here. The elevator just won't come up here. They have a little like juice bar over here and they get sodas and different juices. This is pretty neat. It feels like a New York apartment in here, doesn't it? So this is for ages 14 to 17. So it looks like they've got, got some video games they can play. They've got some board games they can play. And one of the very popular things that they have is this game called Gotcha. So I guess this is something that the kids love playing in this age range. If anybody has been on a Disney cruise, have you ever played Gotcha before? I also like all of the different Mickey memorabilia and various decorations in here that keep it feeling like a Disney cruise, but still not exactly like a Disney cruise. So once again, looking at the funnel here, looking at where the midship elevators are, turning and heading back on the starboard side towards the front of the ship, looking up more concierge lounge type stuff, just to kind of give you guys more of an idea of where we're at. Vibe Lounge, if you guys can see those blacked out windows right there, that's Vibe Lounge. This is a concierge deck, it's concierge level, this is Signals, the adults only bar. This is the adults only pool, adults only hot tubs. And we are continuing our way around to the front of the ship. Looking past what I believe is all like bridge or navigational areas of the ship and heading towards the very front past Wide World of Sports, which is the basketball courts and they've got foosball tables, ping pong tables, all kinds of other sports activities up here and heading all the way up to the bow. There it is, you can see ping pong tables, foosball tables. So from Wide World of Sports, we made our way around this area, all the way around the front here. So now we're headed back in. This is the forward elevators. Let's see. And in here is Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique is up here. Let's see if there's another way. This is level 10. I'm gonna try to figure out if there is an easier way to figure out where Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique is. Okay, so just to kind of give you guys an idea, these are the forward elevators. Right around the corner there is Senses Spa. And if you look here on the carpet, it tells you Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique is up this sparkly staircase. Oh, it says something on the stairs here. What does it say? Magical transformations await. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique is kind of hard to find on this ship. Kind of tucked away back here for sure. So just to kind of give you guys an idea of where Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique is, because it is really tucked away. If you see ESPN Zone, all the sports courts up here, uh, maybe look for the large radar beacon here. And then right inside of this door is Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. And also this is the adults only area. We're up on deck 10 right now. That was so far, that's been the hardest thing to find in this entire ship. At the very forward, at the very tippy top of the ship. Like I said earlier, this is a staff only area of the ship, so we can't get down there. There it is. That was the entire ship. I believe we've seen every single inch of this ship, all the different little nooks and crannies and different places that you can go on the ship. A pretty darn exhaustive view 
of the Disney Wonder. And with that being said, we are off. We'll, we'll see, see you guys, guys tomorrow. tomorrow. Hi, I'm Jerson from Berkeley, California, and now it's time to pay the price.